hi YouTube! I am coming to you today with some incredible news from Kudo, the team that has developed Withering Waves. Uh, they just put out a post today, May 24th at about 11 a.m. my time, uh, saying, Dear Rovers, after yesterday's post, we have some new updates to share with you regarding our future plans for game improvements. And this post that they made is titled regarding gameplay issues and our future improvement plans. So as we all know, Withering Waves has been a huge point of contention because everyone wants it to be the Genshin killer or they don't. Uh, and it's just a, an exciting new game. It's something new, something that we want to see succeed. Uh, some people don't want to see it succeed, but that's not me. Um, and so obviously there's going to be a lot of talk around it, a lot of coverage on it. So let's get into what this says. Dear Rovers, we have been paying close attention to feedback from players all over the globe regarding any gameplay issues that may have arisen. We are committed to continuously fixing these issues through hot fixes. To express our sincere apology, we will be issuing another compensation, 10 Radiant Tides on May 25th. So tomorrow, they will be issuing 10 Radiant Tides, which is a free 10 pull. That is absolutely freaking amazing. Honestly, I don't remember any gotcha doing something like this, honestly. Like, they'll give you, like, a tap on the back, a couple of something somethings, but not really a full 10 pull, um, especially not this quickly and especially not in regards to things like this. And it's, it's incredible to see that they are paying close attention to our feedback. I know I've had some small frustrations with, honestly, it won't even open on my tablet and I have an iPad that's newer so I don't know why that is the case so frustrating because I have a big trip coming up I want to be able to play on my tablet I'm not going to be able to uh, maybe unless there's a fix <laughs> maybe maybe this is the fix um but Regardless of that, as someone who has played Genshin, someone who has played Honkai, uh, someone who has played Tower of Fantasy, I'm going to be honest, open and realistic with you. Those games failed to keep my attention in the short term or the long term. Um, I've only played Withering Waves for about, let's say an hour, maybe an hour. And I am in love, honestly and truly. The gameplay, the fighting or the combat, um, just all of the things that you're able to do in the world. I feel like I get so sidetracked off of the main mission because I'm just so excited to see what's going on in the world around me. And there's very, very few few games that do that for me. And this is one of them. So I'm very excited about this. And to hear that they're going to give us as compensation for these issues that we've been having, along with fixes, a free 10 pull. Kuro, you absolutely have my gamer's heart. Absolutely freaking have my gamer's heart with that. That is incredible, but it doesn't stop there. The scope of the compensation is for all rovers who have reached Union Level 2 or above by July 3rd. So there is plenty of time for new players to get onto the game. If you were considering wanting to try it, if you were thinking about it in any way, get on it. Get on it because you have until July 3rd to be able to get this extra free 10 pull on top of how easy it is to already get a pull in the game. Uh, it goes on further to say, in addition to the list of known issues and their corresponding improvement plans that we shared yesterday, we would also like to share our future plans for addressing a few other key concerns. Optimize the skip function, which already the skip function was incredible. I love being able to skip story. One of the biggest, biggest drawbacks for games for me can be the story. Not because the story is not great in any capacity, but sometimes I'm a busy adult. I don't have time to sit there and read or listen to every single bit of dialogue of the story. I'd rather on my own time later on watch a video of a summary of what's going on in the story versus reading it all myself in that, morn in that moment. Like I'm not always going to be able to absorb that information and it's more tedious than it is entertaining at that point in time. So being able to skip that is incredible already. But 
They're saying, we have received your feedback regarding the skip function, including not enough skippable scenes, UI design of the skip button not readable enough, and the main quest storyline feeling lengthy. We plan to optimize your experience by introducing support for skipping all types of scenes in the storylines and reviewing functions for storyline scripts and cutscenes. See details below. In summary, they're going to redesign the skip function button so it's much easier for you to tell this is the skip button. They're going to largely increase the amount of skippable scenes in main quest storylines, including the prologue in chapter one. They're going to support the skipping of character dialogues outside of cutscenes and cinematics, and the companion story for Resonator Yinlin will be available in game soon. Due to technical constraints, they're unable to support the skipping of certain cutscenes. Uh, sorry for any negative experiences this may bring. We appreciate your understanding. So already they're making huge improvements. They're giving us what we want, making more more things skippable for us on top of even being apologetic. Come on now, where are you getting this from? Like, who is doing this level of attention to their player base, of listening to them and saying, you know what, if you think this can be better, we hear you. Let's make it better. I mean, that already is incredible to me. And a, a major thing that'll help me support a game, truly, is them actually paying attention to the player base and changing the things that we want to see change. Another thing they're going to do is optimize the combat experience, which in my case, I haven't had any issues with the combat. I will say that I am very uh, inept. I'm not much of a crazy gamer that knows combos and is quick with it. Um, and I've still been really enjoying it. And I look forward to becoming more skilled on my characters and being able to get a little bit more skilled with something like that. This game has that level of excitement to it that I'm willing to put in that extra effort to become skillful. That's how much I like it so far. So they're saying with regard to the issues that frequently come up in the feedback of all rovers, including the lack of signification of combat actions, lack of visual feedback of action impacts, poor controller combat experience, and visual blockage during the combat by environmental objects. We have scheduled dedicated optimization of different combat scenes with the goal of improving the positive feedback for players in the combat experience. Additionally, we are also working on improving the functional support of controllers and expediting the support of customized buttons on controllers. That's amazing because I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> The other night, not the other night, literally last night, I pulled out my controller and was trying to play from a laptop and it was not great. Um, in terms of I'm already pretty bad on a controller and I just felt like the buttons didn't vibe for me. The button mapping, it just didn't feel good. And it's awesome to see that they're considering allowing you to customize that. That's actually really, really amazing. And I look forward to seeing that. Um, as far as the combat, like me not being able to see what's going on, things like that. I haven't had too much of an issue with that, but I can see where it could be an issue. So it's great that they are considering in what ways they can make an improvement to that. Additional custom five star standard resonator give back convene event. So after the launch, we have received much feedback across all platforms and channels regarding the beginner's choice convene. We are deeply sorry for the unsatisfactory experience the event has brought you. Therefore, we plan to issue a special item voucher of reciprocal tides, which grants a free chance to obtain one five star standard resonator of your choice choice via in-game mail on May 26th. The event is available until May 22nd of 2025. Please watch out for our in-game announcement regarding the detailed event rules. So not only are we getting a free 10 pull, we're getting a free five-star standard resonator that we get to pick. And you'll have that until May of 2025. So you can hold on to it. Really think about what it is that you're trying to get, you know, play 
the game for a little bit, see what you're liking. And if there's a character that you haven't been able to get, boom, use that. I mean, that is so, so, so incredible. They're already doing so much for their community. They're already showing that they care, that they're listening, and that they're willing to make improvements. And that is more than you can ask for, honestly, more than I can ask for, truly. Um, The last thing they're saying is further optimizations are scheduled along with more fresh content. So we've already scheduled further optimizations of the game and the development of new functions and gameplay elements down the pipeline. These include the optimization of the art assets of certain NPCs and a new layered map display function and more echo transformations. Please stay tuned. So that's crazy. Uh, more optimizations, more content, uh, a new map display function, more echo transformations, better art assets for NPCs. I mean, they're giving us the whole shebang in this one little update. I mean, it's it's insane how much they're willing to do for the community already. I am so excited to see what is yet to come. I'm so excited to play more of the game and I hope that you are too. Honestly, I hope that we're all excited to see what is coming from Wuthering Waves and that we honestly give it the chance that it deserves to really be the incredible game that I think it's going to be. 